Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hahi Blessings of Bhakti Prem Maharaj and all the assembled Vaishnavas 
to be able to say something that will help. <laughs> the dynasty of Puru, text number 17. They have to see you. Yeah. They see you, they can hear you. <laughs> if they don't see you, they don't hear you. <laughs> so this is verse 17. Amogavirya Rajasir Mahasyam Vira Adade Swabhute Swapuram Yata Kalena Sutta Sasutam Mogya Viryo Rajasir Mahasyam Mahishyam Viram Adade Swabhute Swapuram Yanta Kalena Sutta Sasutam Moga Viryo Rajasir Mahim Sham Vira Adade Swabhute Swampuram Yata Alena Sutta Satutam That word, uh, yeah, that w one minute. That word yata, although it has a dot underneath, because it's not the second and the fourth line, you don't say yata ha, you say yata. It's only on the second and the fourth line that you emphasize with the dot under, because Sanskrit originally is written in two lines and not four. So that's how it's understood. So if it's under the second line, which is the end of the first line, or the last line, which is the end of the second line, then you hold it, then you say yataha. Otherwise, you just read it as it is. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Yeah.
person who discharges semen without being baffled or in other words who, or in other words yeah, who must beget a child Rajas Rishi a saint the saintly king Dushmanta Mahisham into the queen, Sakuntala, after her marriage, Sukuntala, Sukuntala became the queen, <coughs> Viryam, Semen, Adade, placed, Swabhute, in the morning, Swapuram, to his own place, Yata, returned, Kalena, in due course of time, Asuta, gave birth, Sa, she, Sukuntala, Sutam, to a son. Mm. Translation, King Dushmanta, who never discharged semen without a result, placed his semen at night in the womb of his queen, Sukuntala, in the morning he returned to his palace. Thereafter, in due course of time, Sukuntala gave birth to a son. Text number 18. <clears throat> In the first, Kavan performed all the ritualistic ceremonies concerning the newborn child. Later, the boy became so powerful that he would capture a lion and play with it. Mm -hmm. This is the results of good parents. <laughs> From good trees come good fruit. <laughs> Text number 19. Sukuntala, the best of beautiful women, along with her son, whose strength was insurmountable and who was a partial expansion of the Supreme Godhead, approached her husband, Dushmanta. <clears throat> Text 20. When the king refused to accept his son, and wife who were both irreproachable and spoke from the sky as an omen and was heard by everyone present. Text 
तो आकाश से शकुन के रूप में एक अदृश्य आवाज सुनाई थी जिसे सबों ने सुना Purport. Maharaj Dushmanta knew that Sukuntal and the boy were his own wife and son, but because they came from outside and were unknown to the citizens, he first declined to accept them. Sukuntala, however, was so chaste that an omen from the sky declared the truth so that others could hear. When everyone heard that from the omen that Sukuntala and her child were the truly the king's wife and son, The king gladly accepted them. नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषून्यवादी पश्चात्यदेशिणे पंचकल्पतरूश्च कृपा सिंधुपे प्रजापतीता भावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासरी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो यू माई आस्क द क्वेश्चन वाई डिड वाई डिड किंग दुष्मंत रिफ्यूज टू एक्सेप्ट हिज वेरी चेस्ट एंड वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वाइफ एंड द पावरफुल सन एट वॉज बोर्न क्वेश्चन कॉम्स तो यहाँ पे प्रश्न आता है कि जो राजा दुष्मंत जो है उन्होंने इतनी पतिव्रता अपनी पत्नी शकुंतला और अपने शक्तिशाली पुत्र को स्वीकार करने से इनकार क्यों कर दी दी आंसर इज रेपुटेशन तो यहाँ पे इसलिए इनकार किया अपनी इज्जत की खातिर बिकॉज दे वर नॉट नोन बाय द सिटीजन ही वॉज थिंकिंग If he accepted them, the citizens would find fault with him, and he, then he would be his reputation would be spoiled. Because the prajna ko pata nahi tha ki raja ki sampan hai ya badni hai, to unne kaha yehi mein ko sikar karunga, to janta prajna ke naam mein bhi ujjal ki jayegi. We have the example of King Rama, the Rama Chandra, the Supreme Lord. When he was traveling through his kingdom, he heard one. member of the citizens speaking to his wife in a very strong way to raja ram chandra ka udaharan mein prapt hai jab ve apne rajya bhraman kar rahe the to unhone suna ki unki praja mein se ek madhuri apni patni se aur jor se baat kar raha tha man was chastising his wife he said you were out all night i don't know where you were now you are coming back and you want me to accept you you are unchaste I am like I'm not like King Ram who accepted his wife Sita back after being with another man. Main koi Ram thodi Raja Ram ki tarah ki apni apni na din dusre ke yahan pe thi fir bhi usko swikar kar lo. When King Ram heard that when Lord Ramachandra heard that he was very thoughtful. thinking now they are criticizing me aur raja ram chandra ye baat sun ke to wo kaaf vichar shi ho gaye bole ki ab to ye log meri nindha kar rahe hain and sita was pure she had proved that lekin sita mein to shuddh thi aur unhone isko sidhri kiya tha she went through the fire test when battle of, of after the battle of lanka um uh, when sita was again 
free from the hands of Ravana, and Ravana was killed, and the the uh, the armies had won. Um, she came. She came all dressed up, all ready to again be with her husband after being away. And he said, "You're on chase. I can't accept you." <laughs> and uh, he said, "You can go wherever you want to go." But I am finished with you. <laughs> Whoa. She, she said, she called Lakshman, prepare a fire. <laughs> Lakshman didn't want to do it. Ram looked at him. When Ram looked at him, he understood. He didn't want to do it, but he did it. So he made this blazing fire. Yeah. And in the midst of a large assembly of officers and generals of the monkey army, along with Sita Ram, Lakshman, Hanuman, Vibhishan, and many, many other persons, with her mind fixed on the lotus feet of Ram, without the slightest fear, she walked right into that fire. <laughs> and Ram was like, not the slightest bit moved by her mom. And everyone was shocked. How could Ram allow this? She <laughs> see Radha Madan Mohan Ki But Ram's mind was fixed. He didn't even show the slightest bit of motion. <laughs> but the fire proved to be the test. Uh, and then the fire god, the fire died down, and Agni, the fire god, was escorting Sita out of the fire. <laughs> to prove that she is pure, chaste. She never even slightly, even showed Ravana even the slightest amount of attention. Yeah. But now, he goes back to the kingdom, Sita's there, Everyone is happy, Bart comes back, and the kingdom is going on, the citizens are joyful. And now he hears this low class person chastising his wife, saying, I'm not like Ram. Reputation of a person in power is everything about their value. What is their reputation? <laughs> and people will look for faults. <laughs> because the nature of the material world is based on envy. The people are envious of powerful people. And, but those in position may, must make sure that there's not the slightest bit of criticism on their reputation. Mm -hmm. 
then they will not have the allegiance of their followers. Even if someone does something a little bit outside of the standard, but then comes back to the standard, still people remember that little deviation. Although a person has repented and came back to the standard they were before, still people like to remember that little, that deviation. <laughs> And for the small-minded, that becomes the character description. <laughs> so therefore, here we see Maharaj Dushmanta. He was thinking, the citizens don't know her. How can I accept her? They will find fault with me. And as they say, dishonor is worse than death. Particularly for a Kshatriya. Our, Krishna criticized Arjun for not performing his duty or refusing to perform his duty. You may have many good reasons why you shouldn't fight and all of those reasons are in line with religious principles. But I'm telling you, you fight. <laughs> And if you refuse to act on your, on, uh, as one of duty, then you will be criticized for that. And that will be worse than death for you. <laughs> now you see how, especially for the Kshatriya race, they, are, they want to keep that impeccable character. When Draupadi was doing her Shvayambara, and many of the kings were coming to compete for Draupadi as their wife. Draupadi saw that Karna went for the competition. And she knew Karna was more powerful than uh, Arjun, and he would win. She already fixed her mind on Arjun. So she said, we cannot let a carpenter into the assembly of Kshatriyas. <laughs> He was actually the son of Kunti. He was a Kshatriya. But Kunti was not married at the time and she had conceived a child by the arrangement of the sun god. <laughs> She kept her virginity. That was the arrangement of the sun god. But, but other people would not understand. And how would she how would she explain it? So let the, she let the sun go. She put him in a little basket and put him on the, the river and then he went floating down the river. And then Adi Dev or Adi Rata, I think his name was, he was a carpenter. 
And he saw this child, and so he thought, oh, a beautiful child. We need a child. <laughs> so he picked up the child, brought him home to his wife, and they raised him. So, Kar so Karna was seen as to be a carpenter, a raised in a Sudra family. So though he was a Kshatriya, he had a reputation, he had two reputations. For some saw him as a Kshatriya and some as a carpenter. <laughs> And he was therefore he was criticized. <laughs> Dishonor is worse than death, they say. But small minded people will always find fault. <laughs> Especially in Kali Yuga. This, this age is an ocean of faults. And if you can tear someone else down, you feel good. It makes you feel good to find someone else's mistake or some apparent bad quality. <laughs> Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he writes one song. What is that first word? I can't think of the first word of the song. Hmm. Sade papi rati nahi opu yero le sam. What is the first? Amara jivan. Sade papi rati nahi opu yero le sam. My life so sinful. Sade papi rati so sinful. And in the song, he's describing what he feels is his character. <laughs> but it's not his character. He's a pure Mahabhagavat. But the quality of a great soul is they don't think they're a great soul. So in one part of the song he says, when I see someone happy, I feel unhappy. And when I see somebody unhappy, I feel happy. <laughs> And these are the qualities of the age of Kali. <laughs> it says the Vaishnava is just the opposite. When a Vaishnava sees someone happy, they share that happiness. And when they see someone unhappy, they think, how can I relieve that unhappiness. Prabhupada would say, let everyone become happy. Sarve sikhentu bhavanti. Let everybody become happy. That's Krishna consciousness. But the way Kali Yuga is that no matter what you do, they will always buy and find someone who will find fault. <laughs> and especially if you're in a position of leadership, people like to find fault. Makes them feel good. <laughs> Uh, 
Lord Shiva, he's Mahadev. <laughs> Daksha found fault with Shiva. <laughs> he said, well, you know, you are, you know, you have garlands of skulls around your neck and you are, you hang around crematoriums and you're followed by ghosts. He was finding fault with Lord Shiva, but that's Shiva's service. He does that as a service to these low-class people. There's no sh fault in Shiva, but still, people will find fault. Even, even great souls find fault in other others. Narada Muni. Narada Muni Bajai Vine Pratika Ramana Nahamre. He goes everywhere, travels around the universe, playing on his Veena. His Veena is chanting the holy name of the Lord, and he's bringing the mercy of Lord Narayan to everyone and anyone. Daksha is back again. And he creates 25,000 sons known as the Hayashvas, no, 10,000 sons and known as the Hayashvas. And he wants them to become progenitors, so they have to get married, so he sends them out to holy places for purification before they enter into the Grihastha life. But they meet Narada Muni. <laughs> The Marana Muni says, you know, you're already in good position, don't change. <laughs> you know, just perform some penances and austerities, go to the holy place, and then you can go back home, back to God. What is this great to life? <laughs> don't waste time. <laughs> So they listened to Narada and they didn't go back home. Docs is thinking, what happened? <laughs> so then he creates another 10,000 sons called the Shalavas and sends them out for the same reason as their older brothers, meets Narada Muni again, same thing happens. <laughs> And they give up the idea. The doctor becomes aware of what's happening and he gets angry. <laughs> so this time he created 10,000 girls, <laughs> decided that would be easier to do, work it from the other side around. <laughs> Narada wouldn't do anything that, so. Although girls can also become renounced, but it wasn't his business. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Daksha is really angry. He finds Narada Muni and starts chastising him. Chastising him. Yeah, he call, you know, he's saying, you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> Who are you? Know, you were supposed to be a saintly person, and you're interfering with the, you know, the, 
co-creation of the next universe. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts chastising. And, and Narada Muni doesn't say anything. He could have said something because what he did was in line with religious principles. So he, he remained quiet because he wanted Daksha to get rid of his anger. He was thinking of the welfare of Daksha. If I don't give chance to let him get rid of his anger on me, then he'll keep that anger and that'll spoil his whole life. <laughs> It's quality of a great saintly person. They're always thinking of the welfare of even those who act inimical towards them. So then he curse Narada. I curse you, you cannot stay in one place for more than three days. <laughs> So Narada was happy. <laughs> Sometimes the demons, they curse you. And it's like Lord Chaitanya got cursed by one Brahmin. He said, I curse you to never enjoy material happiness. Lord Chaitanya said, thank you. <laughs> So Narada, Narada gladly accepted the curse. <laughs> and Srila Prabhupada in the purport described, he said, I have also been cursed by the parents of my disciples. <laughs> Therefore, I cannot stay in one place for more than three days. <laughs> but I want to finish writing my Bhaktivedanta purpose and I need to stay in one place. <laughs> so I'm asking my senior disciples to take up the curse for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, all my sannyasis should be constantly traveling. <laughs> so I already stayed a week here. So I don't know if I overstood my curse. <laughs> And so Prabhupada, yeah, he, he makes that statement. So yeah, you'll see that uh, there's always reasons for finding fault with great saintly persons. Or, or people in powerful positions. Mm -hmm. And there have been many great persons in the material world who had big positions and were very popular amongst millions of people and something went wrong in their life and their whole reputation was changed their whole life. <laughs> So Maharaj Dusmanta, of course, the, the voice in the sky made everything clear. When he heard that, then he accepted Sukuntala and his son. Mm -hmm. and reputation is everything in Krishna consciousness. One should be very careful to act always in the proper way where people will not find fault. So, 
But still, people will find fault. <laughs> as soon as you get a position, people will find fault. <laughs> One person, he was finding fault with all kinds of devotees in this kind, and he was keeping a big diet, a big record, like a big book of all all the leaders that he thought were finding. So he found fault with me, and he said, I'm preaching to prisoners, and these are bad associations, so I, that was my fault. <laughs> So he considered preaching to people in jail to be wrong. We shouldn't, we, because they're in jail, they should suffer and they shouldn't get the mercy of, uh, you know, Bhagavad Dharma. <laughs> I mean, people found fault with Prabhupada too, so many times. Just like <clears throat> it was, Prabhupada took issue with this one situation where something happened in Japan that was making our society look bad. <laughs> So one popular person, he was also somewhat of a spiritualist from another movement, he started finding fault with the whole ISKCON body because of this little problem that happened in Japan. So they were telling Prabhupada about this. And Prabhupada is saying, oh, he, he, he's such a pavana. He knows so much. He doesn't see that everywhere around the world we're opening temples, making devotees, writing books and, and spreading the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. He doesn't see that. All he sees is his little problem in Japan. <laughs> The moon is giving out so much beautiful light which is cooling in the hot summer season and it lights up the sky and makes the sky beautiful but somebody will say, oh there's some spot on the moon, the moon is impure. <laughs> The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I give my full mercy to devotees who followers to do two things. One who enthusiastically, eagerly chants the holy names of the Lord, the Hare Krishna mantra. And one, and one who is Adosha Darshi. Darshi means uh, seeing. Dosha means false, one who does not see the faults of others. Mm -hmm. so that's Lord Chaitanya Gita criteria for a, a real Vaishnava, one who does not see the faults of others. But still, we should be very exemplary so people cannot find fault. <laughs> because this is Kali Yuga <laughs> and everyone's looking for faults. <laughs> I can name so many incidents, but I don't want to 
belabor this point too much. <laughs> But here, the main point here, is, and it's a very important point, Dush, King Dushmanta was concerned about how the citizens would see him if he had accepted his wife and son back, and therefore he understood as a king that would ruin his complete ability to rule properly or effectively. <laughs> So for a person in leadership, reputation is everything. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop here and see if there's any comments, questions. Mataji? Yeah. It's going to bring you the microphone. Hey, Krishna. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for this beautiful class. Um, I have a question. Like, why women have to always prove their chastity to everyone? Like, why they have to go through exams? Hmm. Why do women have to always prove their chastity to everyone? Well, they don't in one sense, and that is if they stay faithful and chaste to their superiors, then by their example, that is the proof. Proof is done by example, not necessarily by words. Words is when people, words are for the ignorant people. But one lives a life in the proper way, then that, that just like when the sun comes out, the light of the sun is there. If a woman is living according to the principles of chastity, that will be seen automatically, simply by her example. So, and there's a saying, example is higher than precept. Whatever you say is one thing, whatever you do is what well, will be seen as your uh, character. Your behavior uh, is more important than what you speak. <laughs> so you don't have to prove it to anybody. All you have to do is act accordingly and that will be appreciated and seen. Okay. Is that okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes, uh, cameraman. <laughs> That's all I know his name, cameraman. <laughs> Vishubhananda. Vishubha 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 he, he always looks like he's experiencing an under. <laughs> he looks happy all the time. <laughs> May I make this question? Uh, Mahaprabhu says that uh, Veshava doesn't see faults in another. But during the course of management or managing the things and different activities, we see faults in different programs, in different devotees, in the management also sometimes. So how to not see, how to remove that? Picture? No, that's not fault finding. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, the question is that we have to 
آپ نے کہا جتنے بھی ہاروں نے کہا تو اس میں جتنا چیزیں ہیں جتنے جب ہم مینجمنٹ کرتے ہیں کچھ سیوانے کرتے ہیں تو کئی کارکموں میں کئی یوجناوں میں کئی وقتوں میں ہم کو دوست دیتے ہی ہیں تو کیسے ہم اس چیز کو دور کریں کہ اس کا بخار کیا ہے مانا چاہتے ہیں کہ یہ دوست دیتا نہیں ہے That's not fault finding. Just like a guru has to see the faults in his disciple and try to correct that so the disciple can make advancement. The parents have to correct their children when the children are not acting properly. That's for the benefit of the children. So one in a position of leadership has to somehow or other see it to make sure things go on nicely and if there's some fault that should be corrected but not as a criticism towards the person but as a, as a means for carrying on the program, that's all. It's not a criticism, it's just something that shouldn't be there. That's all. تو لیڈر کو جو ہے وہ دوش دیکھنا اس لیے کبھی ضروری ہوتا ہے کہ تاکہ وہ اس کو سدھارنے چیزیں اچھے سے چل سکیں اور یہ اس کو آلوچنا لوگ میں نہیں کرنا چاہیے دوسرے ویکتی کو ہاتھوں سائل میں نہیں کریں بلکہ سدھارنے کے لیے اس چیزی کو ویکتی کو یہ بلیو لیا اوش But you have to know how to do that لیکن آپ کو ایک کلاس کی نہیں پڑے گی کرنا کے سائے سکتے ہیں Not like, hey you rascal, what are you doing? اسے نہیں کہہ رہے ہیں کہ مارش لگا رہا ہے Don't you know What, you, you, what you're doing is not right. <laughs> the thing is, when you chastise grown-up people, Prabhupada said they break. When you're dealing with grown-ups, you have to be very sensitive and very careful and speak the correction in such a way that is, is pleasing, not full of anger or negative, negativity. Yeah, so it's, the correction is needed, but how you do it is more important. Hmm. Prabhupada, when Prabhupada was giving one lecture, he was noting the devotees were growing long hair again. And Prabhupada said, we are known as shaving-headed, not long-hair-headed. <laughs> But I am an old man and you are a young man. I am not here to chastise you. <laughs> and Prabhupada mentions that if, when you chastise, you know, grown-up people, they can break. But children, you can get away with that, but not with grown-ups. <laughs> so, satyam priyam, satyam bruyam. <laughs> yeah. Speak truthfully, but speak in a pleasing way. So we have to practice that, so sometimes we become, you know, immediately disturbed by the situation and we don't think, so, but that, we have to be careful. <laughs> yes, the question there. <laughs> this three questions, okay, go ahead. Maharaj, I wanted to ask this question day before yesterday, but it's connected to today's class also. Like many times what happens, uh, devotees have some experience of instruction of spiritual master in a certain situation. 
Like one time we went to one place and spiritual master told that you drive fast. So devotees in that city say that Guru Mahal like fast driving. Right. So like that many times devotees have their own understanding of spiritual master's instructions. Now what happens is when they come together, when spiritual master is not present, they there say, is a clash of uh, understanding. Right. So how to avoid that? That happened with Prabhupada too. So, you let him let him speak to the Bengali. Prabhupada was with a few disciples. He said, Give me something to drink. I, I want some, some lemon drink. So they brought him some seven up. <laughs> And Prabhupada said, oh, very nice. He, li he liked it. So then when the devotees around the world heard of it, they were ordering cases of 7-Up for every temple, you know. <laughs> you know when Prabhupada found out about it, he said, what are they doing? I, I just drank this 7-Up one time and now everybody wants to drink it all day. <laughs> What great men, what great men do, common men follow in their footsteps. <laughs> Shiva was, Shiva smokes ganja, right? <laughs> yeah, Krishna dances with many people's wives. <laughs> But that doesn't mean you should do it. <laughs> but your point is clear. Time and circumstance, sometimes, yeah, an instruction is given, but it applies to time, place, and circumstance. So, how to, how to you have to just Correct that when it comes up. That's all. all you can do is try to correct it. There was one veterinarian. <clears throat> he was teaching his disciple how to do veterinarian work. <laughs> So there was one horse, he had a big lump in his throat. So the, the veterinarian asked for a, a, a hammer. So, and he started hitting the horse in, in where the lump was. And after a while the lump was gone and the horse was fine. <laughs> So his his shiksha, his disciples watching that, his his you know, his student. So now he becomes a veterinarian and the horse comes in with a lump in his throat. So he picks up a hammer and starts beating and the horse is going wild. <laughs> <laughs> And he go, and his teacher finds out and he starts chastising him, what are you doing, you know, you're trying to kill the horse. He said, I'm just doing the same thing I saw you do. <laughs> so, it's just, the teacher said, that horse had a, a watermelon stuck in his throat and I was breaking the watermelon out so he could swallow it. <laughs> so, 
So the whole, you know, the students seeing, well, there's a horse with a lump, so I just take a hammer and I smash it, you know. <laughs> so I should drive fast all the time. <laughs> Guru's instructions, drive fast. <laughs> No matter where you are, just drive fast. <laughs> <laughs> then I am I'm a better I'm a good disciple of my guru because I know what, what pleases him. <laughs> this is foolishness. <laughs> Ignorance. So things are done according to time and place, but Unless people explain, because when a, a great person does something, people take it as the as the standard. Yeah. A Prabhupada said one has to know the difference between a principle and a detail. A principle is something you can't change. A detail is time, place and circumstance. So you're dealing with a detail, that's all. So it takes intelligence to understand the difference between a detail and a principle. When, just like the principle is to chant Hare Krishna 16 rounds a day, that's a principle. You can't change that. Well, where you chant or when you chant, that's a detail. Mm -hmm. Details are adjustable, principles are not. So going fast means we're late, we need to get in, you need to get there. So that was, that was using a certain un, uh, intelligence to, you know, make the service effective. But if you go fast, sometimes you get a ticket. <laughs> Guru Maharaj said I should go fast, but I got a ticket. I guess Guru Maharaj should pay for the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it's called <a> neophyte. <laughs> neophyte means those who like to fight. <laughs> Neo means new and new kinds of fights. Always trying to think of a new way to fight. <laughs> neophyte. <laughs> That's a play on words, so don't repeat me on that one, or else I'll get in trouble for that. <laughs> Another question somewhere? Give one to the ladies this time. Okay, we'll go back to the ladies and come back to the men after. जिस तरह बताया है कि कलयुग जो है दोषों का महासागर है जिस तरह बताया है कि कलयुग दोषों का महासागर है और हम सभी में दोष ढूंढते हैं तो कई बार हमारे अंदर भक्तों भी हम दोष ढूंढते हैं तो कैसे इस पुराने आदत से छुटे कैसे When you see faults 
as soon as you see faults, start looking for the good qualities immediately. It's you can't it's normal to see faults. But it's not normal to broadcast things. <laughs> So when you see something so fault, look for the good qualities in that same person and focus on the good qualities. I don't know the Sanskrit, but there's a progression of understanding. There's four categories that people see people in four different ways. You have the daksha who sees faults even when there's not faults. <laughs> and below that is those who see faults and good qualities side by side, but focus on the good qualities. And those who see faults, the next one down is this is even higher. They see a person's faults as potential good qualities. It's like a person may be a little bit passionate, so that may be seen as a, uh, you know, a fault, but because they work hard, that's the good quality. And the highest is one who never sees faults at all. <laughs> so we're usually on that second category, we see faults, we can, but we can also see good qualities side by side. Just like you see a fault in a devotee. But he's a devotee or she's a devotee. That's their good quality. They've dedicated their life to serving the Lord. That's a very rare and very good quality. So you focus on that. That's a prime example. So, look for the good qualities. Prabhupada said, become like a bee and not like a fly. <laughs> I'm not so good at making flies, but anyway. <laughs> But in other words, a bee goes for the honey, fly goes for the stool. The swan goes in very celestial, beautiful places of clear water, the crow goes for the garbage. Different kinds of birds, different kinds of animals. Even you'll see in every species there are opposites, even in the species. Mm -hmm. So just look for the good qualities. Yes. And then the faults go away immediately. If you do that, you'll be successful. <laughs> Anything else? Oh yeah, we had some more questions over here. Did you forget your question? <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Madam, for your nice question. As you mentioned one point that Prabhupada uh, uh, said about the karma, he is understood, see, understood that karma is more powerful than Arjuna. But as, uh, I heard in Mahabharata that uh, after Prabhupada uh, 
Hari Gobind Sthopati, then there is a war and Arjun defeated all the other uh, kings. So, and so also after the Virat uh, Agyan pass, the last day Arjun defeated all, all the uh, all the four of us. Yeah. So, how to understand this point? Hmm. <coughs> so, प्रश्न यह है कि आपने बताया कि कारण जो है आठवीं से शक्तिशाली था इसलिए द्रौपदी का कारण बहुत भागी नहीं मिल गया स्वयं पर में तो यहाँ हम देखते हैं कि अर्जुन ने स्वयं पर द्रौपदी को जीत लिया तो सभी ने आक्रमण किया अर्जुन ने सभी को हरा दिया और उसके बाद अज्ञातवास के अज्ञातवास के जो आखिरी वर्ष था उसमें उसमें बहुत सारे पौरव युद्ध करने आ रहे थे उन सभी को हरा दिया तो हम कैसे समझे कि कर्ण अर्जुन ज्यादा शक्तिशाली ये प्रश्न है well, the answer is in the last verse of the Bhagavad Gita. Wherever there is Krishna, the Yagya Yagya Yogeshwara Krishna Krishna uh, Wherever there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, wherever is Arjuna, the supreme archer. There will automatically be victory, extraordinary power. What are the other? Opulence. Opulence. Four good qualities are mentioned. So that verse answers your question because Krishna Arjuna was connected directly with Krishna. He could do things and defeat both Karna and Bhishma Dev also. Bhishma Dev was undefeatable, but only by the arrangement of Krishna was Bhishma Dev defeated. That's why Arjun chose Krishna instead of uh, Krishna's army because he knew just by being connected with Krishna he would automatically be victorious. And Krishna didn't even fight, he was just on the chariot. So a devotee becomes empowered by the presence of the Lord. <laughs> when Krishna is there, a devotee, even an insignificant, or a devotee doesn't have many good qualities. If Krishna is with them, they can conquer the world. <laughs> the power is Krishna. <laughs> Krishna Shakti Vidana Adhet Tad Bhavartana. Krishna Shakti Vidana Adhet Tad Bhavartana. Krishna Shakti. Yeah. Question? Okay. You're happy with that? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Maharaj. One of my questions is actually, I'm born in Punjab, so we are Punjab. You are born in Punjab? Yes. So, I live there and uh, there is a uh, Sikh that is followed there. There is a what? So, a Sikh? Ma. Sikh? Sikh religion they follow there. Yeah, more so, yeah. So, no, I don't have a problem with that. 
but uh, when they talk about uh, when we discuss with friends or, or the, the followers of that uh, religion so uh, as the today's discussion is regarding the fault 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 finding so they uh, find faults in the lord and uh, and when we uh, and connected in the uh, base in the school so we generally say the nearby neighbors they also uh, say Yes, they said that okay, this is they are doing something bad or like that. Yes, I also had like practically one woman who was there. That was old lady, and he said say that uh, these people are like uh, kind of uh, making that we use the word that uh, my brain was in the kind of thing. We use the that word. So these kind of people, I my question is that they ask that question. They they say bad things. So we we should correct them or we should uh, just uh, ignore them. तो प्रभु जी का प्रश्न है कि मैं मजाक में मेरा जन्म हुआ है तो वहाँ पे सिर्फ जब हम तोलों होते हैं उसमें कोई दर्द नहीं है लेकिन जब वो हमारे चर्चा करते हैं तो हमारे भगवान की निंदा करते हैं कई बार जैसे हम काम को बता रहे हैं कि वो बेस पे रहते थे आर पड़ोसी लोग उठते थे ये सब लोग कुछ कुछ कर रहे थे बुरी औरत ने कार की लोगों का ब्रेन वॉश हो गया है तो ऐसी स्थिति में क्या हम लोगों को सुधारना चाहिए या फिर सामान होता होना चाहिए कि जब तक ये होनी चाहिए You can do either. You can go either way, depending on the circumstance. Sometimes you have to correct, not because they won't be corrected, but other people who will hear, they will understand that what is the right understanding. तो कई बार आपको सुधारना होता है ऐसा नहीं कि इसलिए कि वो सुन रहे हैं बल्कि इसलिए कि आसपास जो लोग वो सुन रहे हैं वो सही समझ पा रहे हैं। तो sometimes you do have to make some correction. कभी कभी आपको कुछ सुधार करना पड़ता है। But generally you avoid them. लेकिन साधारण सिद्धांत है कि उनकी उपेक्षा करना अच्छा है। Because they they want you to they want you to say something so they can say something more. आप क्यों कुछ और ज़्यादा बोले ताकि कि उनको और बोले तो काम लेंगे आप सब। a critic, when he's criticizing you, you just ignore them, they get tired and then they stop. <laughs> yeah. I, I get emails, I just send them to spam, that's all. <laughs> yeah, so the idea is, Better to avoid if you can. That's the, that would be the main way to deal with it. But in certain circumstances, when there are innocent people involved, you can say something so they won't be misunderstood. They won't get the wrong impression. And sometimes you have to speak like that. You speak what is actually the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you have to see the situation. Every situation may be a little different. Yeah. But generally you avoid saying things. Because it just wastes your time. <laughs> yeah, so. Any more? Any questions? I think that's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Sri Radhamadan Mohan ki jai. Hare Krishna.